Okay, so our theorist is Patricia Benner, and I'm Nicole Salazar. I'm Amanda Hollingworth, and we'll be presenting. Oh, sorry. Well, so she... the theory for Patricia Benner is novice to expert. Okay. Um, her background is that she has a bachelor degree in nursing from Pasadena College in 1964. And then she went on to get her master's degree in nursing with an emphasis on med surge from the University of California, San Francisco, Francisco School of Nursing. Um, then she went on to get a PhD in stress coping and health that was conferred in 1982 at the University of California, Berkeley. And she has a rich background in research that began in 1970 when she graduated with her master's degree. And she's been honored um, with multiple rewards um, by the American Journal of Nursing Book of the Year. And it was for many of her publications, one of those being her publication of From Novice to Expert, Excellence Empowering Clinical Nursing Practice. The Institute for Nursing Healthcare Leadership commemorated her in 2002 for the impact of the land Mark book from novice to expert with an award acknowledging 20 years of collecting and extending clinical wisdom, experimental learning and caring practices in a celebration of the conference, charting of the course, the power of expert nurses to define the future. In 2008, Benner was ranked as the fourth most influential nurse in the past 60 years by the leadership of the journal Nursing Standard in the United Kingdom. Okay, so the purpose, scope, and the level of theory. Uh, the level of theory is it's a philosophy theory. Um, the purpose and scope, Benner studies clinical nursing practice in an attempt to discover and describe the knowledge embedded in nursing practice, describing, illustrating, and giving language um, to taken for granted areas of practice wisdom, skills, know-how, and notations of good practice. Clinical situations are always more varied and complicated than theoretical accounts of knowing how. Um, the level of competence is directly related to the length of time and practice and exposure to clinical situations. When nurses move to a new clinical setting that requires acquisitions of new skills and knowledge, their level of competence will return to a lower stage. Um, so the more skills and practice that we get in clinical experiences will have us um, alleviate over to expert nurse one day. Okay, so um, Benner acknowledges that her thinking in nursing was greatly influenced by Virginia Henderson, but she created her model uh, based off of the Hubert and Stuart Dreyfus model. And they um, did a study on that. It was um, a research in philosophy and they were both professors at the University of California at Berkeley, and they developed the Dreyfus model of skills acquisition, and which she applied to the novice and expert theory. So some major concepts, um, the novice nurse, it's um, Patricia's uh, definition of um, can be students or newly licensed nurses with minimal clinical experience or even a nurse who has a higher level of skill but has been placed in a new situation foreign to them. Situations are approached from theoretical perspective relying on context, free facts, and established guidelines. Uh, they relate this um, novice nurse over to new grad, someone who has zero clinical experience or even a nurse who is normally a tele nurse or a med surge nurse and then they get floated to ICU or some other scope of practice that they aren't um, formally used to. An advanced beginner can now practice independently in the performance of many tasks and can make some clinical judgments. They begin to rely on prior experience to make practice decisions. A competent nurse is usually a nurse who has practiced for about two to three years, demonstrates increased levels of skill and proficiency in clinical judgment. Proficient nurse, these are nurses who are significant amount of experience upon which to base their practice, enhance observational abilities, allow nurses to be able to 
conceptualize situation for hostility. And expert nurse is ex expert nurses have um, garnered a wealth of experience so that they can view situations holistically and process information information efficiently. Okay, so the analysis um, are concepts clear and defined logically. Logically, are the concepts logically um, connected? Yes, the major concepts are logically connected. A nurse can go from novice to expert in various ways and in different clinical aspects. Hands-on clinical experience, as Benner stated, does give a person their actual clinical nursing experience. She stated, a person gets their confidence in working in an environment by their clinical work and knowing what they are doing, which working on a floor you're familiar with. As the example I gave, an ex -med, a med surge nurse and a tele nurse are floating to a different floor. One of Benner's objectives were expert nurses need education and experience to develop the skills and understand the patient care over time. Um, I attached the Dreyfus model, which is um, what uh, she referenced or got her theory from. Um, so they go from novice to expert. They have a little bit of uh, different um, objectives that they go by. And also her um, model as well. So are the concepts measurable? They, um, they are measurable, but not too, too much to an extent to where a novice nurse is where they say is a new grad. However, you can become a novice nurse if you were floated to another floor or you maybe stop nursing for a few years and you come back. So it kind of can vary. They don't have um, strict guidelines. And is the theory well organized? Yes, um, it is well organized. She has categories for us to reference and go by and gives us her perspective on gaining clinical knowledge and it's where we get our experience and learning from to be a nurse. Okay, good question. Oh, can we understand it well enough to practice, to apply it to practice? Uh, yes, we can apply it to practice as being new grads and understand it may take a few years to get into the groove of things and in the future not feel as we are wasting so much time and managing our time day by day we may start um, we may start to be experts at getting charting done early on during the day versus waiting later on during the day then if maybe we have having a floating nurse next slide is Benner's theory congruent with current nursing practice standards intervention? Yes. Um, it's standard to expect that when we become new nurses that we aren't going to know everything, that we aren't going to be as advanced as somebody who's been on that same floor for 10 years or two years. Um, that's why whenever we are first floated or while we first are hired as new grads, there's a training like a training time, like a 10 week training. And um, is it culturally and socially relevant? Um, yes, Venner's theory is socially and culturally relevant in nursing. Um, you could apply Venner's theory to anything. Experience will always benefit and make you better at what you are doing. Practice makes perfect. So it's always understood that you're not gonna be as good at something with sports or with your job until you've been in that position for a little bit longer and you've been able to work at the skill. Has it been tested? So it was, it has been tested. It was tested in the beginning when it was, it was first created by Benner um, and the theory that she framed it from. It, it had been tested and proven then and that's why she adapted it and it's been accepted and acknowledged since. So we've included two articles that um, support that. One of them is from a dental professional's um, perspective, just saying that the client is complex. Um, we can get a basic knowledge of our client from the books that we read in school, but we aren't going to know um, the exceptions, like somebody who has been working in that field for longer. And then the second one that we've included was just um, supporting Venner's theory from a nursing perspective and just emphasizing again that as students, it's expected 
that we're new, we don't know a lot, we're gonna base all of our decisions on textbook decisions, not um, from experience. And does it contribute to discipline science of nursing? Yes, again, um, both of the articles support that um, in the medical field, that the thinner theory is to be expected that we are gonna grow over the years as nurses or medical professionals. And also, um, it's taught in our ATI books now, which is the basis of getting us ready to become nurses. And whenever we're floating, all nurses kind of tell us that, that we were, are gonna know a whole bunch when we first start out, that you really learn whenever you're hands-on in the medical field and on the floor. And would you find better theory not as an expert useful? Um, Yes, we can consider it relevant and reassuring, really, to give us confidence that even though we might not know everything now, that we're going to grow as we advance through nursing school and our jobs. And those are our references. Yep, we included the nursing theorists and their work, and um, the, we used the ATI book, and then our two articles from the Wayland Library.